Singapore researchers have found hidden recorders of changing sea levels at Sentosa Island. Now they're studying the colonies of corals to uncover insights key to the fight against climate change. Melissa Go with this report. A treasure trove in Singapore's backyard. Colonies of corals, called microatolls, are silent witnesses to the rise and fall of the sea, waiting to be uncovered. Assistant Professor Aaron Meltzner at Nanyu Technological University's Asian School of the Environment says they hold valuable insights. It's dead in the center and it has a living ring. It grew up and out and grew up to here. And so this difference in elevation tells us that at some point it couldn't survive any higher than this elevation. But then because of sea level rise, because of climate change, it was able to grow up to here. The corals first discovered two years back can tell us about sea levels going back thousands of years when data from traditional instruments was not available. This can help researchers better understand forecasts and prepare for how changes in the sea level will affect Singapore. A recent United Nations climate report expects sea levels to rise up to one metre by 2100. But it's not just the climate emergencies that's driving the team. I mean, everything here is going to be underwater in a couple hours. That means these dozen or so researchers need to hurry. Researchers are making the most of this rare window of opportunity. They say it's the lowest tides here since 2008. A tide this low gives them the chance to collect samples for carbon dating, to find out when changes or events occurred. It's also a chance to photograph the corals and build a 3D model of the site for further study. The corals here are up to 3,000 years old, but young by fossil standards. We have some of the younger fossil corals compared to other sites that we have found in Singapore. So we're like filling in an area, a part of the time like period where we don't really have a lot of data for Singapore. We're going to put all of these records together to have a more complete picture of sea level in Singapore in the past. And every additional piece of data we get means we have better models and we have better forecasts. Next, work will begin at Singapore's southwestern Pulau Biola. Sites like these hold important scientific data, living proof that nature holds not only the power to destroy, but perhaps also the answers on how to survive.